Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, I am Renee, and this is my budgeting journey. I'm starting out super young at 17, but I thought it was time. And if you are a returning viewer or subscriber, hey girl, or hey dude, how are you? Um, this is a new edition. It is for Halloween purposes. It's a little painted pumpkin that I have made. And if you are wondering why do I not have any fake cash, it's because this is not a stuffing video. My stuffing video will be out on November the 1st. And I might actually stuff with my cute little pumpkin one more time. So he might be in like two of my YouTube videos until next year. I just thought, you know, most girls have candles or stuff. I might want to make mine cute too. So, I just want to get right into my views on the women out here who do budgeting or anything like that. Shout out to them. Like, for real, shout out. I'm only going to go into like a minute into this. But for them to be able to give and do tithes and have a giving category or more categories or put a lot more money into their um with real cash into their binders and they have a fire like fireproof safe good for you like really good job um this isn't criticizing anyone i really hope you guys who are listening don't feel like this is criticizing or pointing anyone out me personally i don't make a lot of money i only work two times a week and if I did a weekly budget, like most girls who do budgeting, um, you would only get $70 basically out of me each week. Because um, my grand total usually a month is like $400 plus. And I just think it's better for me to start with monthly until I get a full-time job and work not two times a week. The reason why I work two times a week is because I have school and hopefully everyone can understand that, you know? So my first video, there was a lot of views and everything. And I was really surprised that I got like 50 views. And I was really happy. And I know a lot of these other girls advertise and do a lot more with their channels and stuff. And they get like 1k views or more than that. And that's great. They've been building up their channel for like a year. So it makes sense. My views, not a lot. I didn't expect a lot. I was really happy with 50 views. But then my second video, I only got like 13 views. And that was kind of disappointing. Maybe it's because of my voice or how fast I went talking or anything like that. Maybe I didn't get on a personal level with these girls. But like, I would like to get on a personal level with you. Um, I would like to DM you. I, I try to answer every single comment in my comment section. And I love to give off a great vibe. I'm literally only 17. So please don't expect me to make a lot of content on here. This is for my purposes as much as yours entertainment. But this is purposes for me to understand how much basically money I have in each category with using fake dollar bills. And maybe the girls didn't like me using fake dollar bills on all my bills. But I don't have a fireproof save. Um... I don't trust um, using real dollar bills unless I had a fireproof safe. And I don't really want to buy the money because I don't like I don't want to buy the fireproof safe if I don't really use it or if I don't like this budgeting method later down the line. So this is like a test for me to see if I like it or not. But we're just going to go straight into the, my video, which is explaining some updates that I did for you to understand for my next stuffing video in November. The reason why I have my coin jars out is because um, I might be using those to give away to charity. And I know a lot of people feel like, why does she have not have a category for charity? Well, this is my own budgeting journey for one. And um, people have asked me like a little bit directly, like, a couple of people that knew me in real life, they were asking me, why do I not have a charity or like giving away stuff? It's because I don't make a lot and I'm not even a full adult yet. So like the fact is I want to keep most of my money and that might seem greedy and you might turn away, but please don't because like 
my parents give a lot of money and they do a lot of giving and they do a lot of things for me and they help people and so we are a giving christian family and if you're not the in the christian faith that's fine that's totally fine i will not judge you for it i promise like i have no judgment at all and i purposely love how i look and my body and um I love it, and I just hope that everyone on this page respects one another, like one another, and doesn't body shame anyone. Because like, if you say you don't look girl, like good girl, like I promise you, you're perfect just the way you are. And I just have to clarify that with people because I just want everyone to know that I genuine feel that everyone was made for a purpose. Everyone has a purpose in life. And everyone is beautiful and just as well-deserving as anyone else. It doesn't matter your color. It doesn't matter your um, beliefs. It really doesn't matter. At the end of the day, we are here to support each other. And we are here to show our journey on financially of where we're at. So I'm going to show you one of the new things that is new. My best friend got me this notebook with my first initial R. I was really happy to see it for my birthday. Her birthday and my birthday is on the same birth, like the same month in September. So it's awesome. Um, I'm going to pull this out real quick, you know, like in a full screen for you to see. But it has the October month, you know, the year. And I put a little star right there. It has my daily bills and then the um line right there is if I didn't stuff anything and the amount I stuffed and then we have monthly and I was really surprised when I saw $200 already into emergencies that makes me super happy and then we have sinking funds and then we have my total which was literally only $877 but that's because I worked a first job and then I moved out of that job used a lot of money to buy all my stuff um basically to get a second job then I got my second job I got some paychecks so basically my first month basically of working was already my saved up money so I'll probably make only like $400 plus for my next video in November so please don't come at me in the comment this is literally using my real basically real funds on how much I actually have in my bank account like at this moment you know for that month and then my ending total was you know $877 and then we already pre-prepared my November one because you know after October is November the 1st from how much I'll have in my November category to spend and then my ending total will change with the previous month of adding $877 to the total of you know how much I made, you know, on that month. And then I haven't done anything else, but for the years, there's only 12 months in a year. So this book will be used for a very, very long time, which is good because that's great for me. Um, we're going to go straight into the newest things on my categories for to speak. So on um, the very beginning, the first couple of videos, I had groceries on the top with the amount and the balance and the date I moved that to the back now of my binder tracker things because once I get you know once I get money like the shopping one it was kind of difficult to know how much I actually had and so now I can be like hmm how much do I have in my shopping you know and then I'd be like oh I have $50 in my shopping and this is for every single other one I'm not going to show all of them because it's like it would take too much time and I know you guys are like time consuming but if you hear all this change, you know, in my um, deposit or this $1 bill, you're like, where did you take that $1 bill from? I got $10 from a birthday card and I spent most of it on food, but I got some change and I got a dollar from my working. I spent some money, you know, everyone spends some money. Um, the monthly one is exactly the same. The only thing that's moved is the trackers on the back, everything like that. And then the green one, sinking funds, is everything like that. I do want to explain the very back envelope. Oops. The very back envelope will be adding a new category. It will be 2022 
when this happens and it will be called baby and I'll get into more of that because I see a bunch of girls already saving up for their future child and stuff and I want to do that too because yes I'm only 17 but pregnancies are bound to happen when you get a boyfriend or anything like that I'm single but that is totally you know um yeah that's just me okay and now we are um moving on to my goals for each binder real quick groceries is not going to get anything until i get some other previous goals gas is not getting anything until i get a car dining out will be getting stuffed sometime maybe i don't know shopping um my shopping goal is to get five hundred dollars in the summer because i need some new clothes beauty nope Personal is just to have my personal goals, to have personal subscribers, to have personal connections with you guys. That's literally my personal goal. Until I get um, my shopping like goal of $500, I will not be stuffing anything from personal. And savings, I really want $1,000. And deposit has nothing. Um, I'm in a really happy mood today, if you haven't noticed. Just getting that out of the way real quick. My monthly insurance is covered by my parents' household. I really want $5,000, and I know that's a lot, but, like, it's for my furniture for my apartment, my very first apartment. I need to save up for that. And so, yeah, my car, I need $6,000, and then after $6,000, I'll get another $6,000 into it to get my first car, which we'll be really happy about. Health is covered by my parents. Rent will not be getting stuffed at all until I get my household goal of $5,000 in. Then I'll start stuffing year, like at least a year amount of rent into, you know, my rent. And the emergencies, I really want $1,000. And once I get $1,000, I'll be adding, um, you know, more money into a different category. But it already has $200. And that makes me so happy. So that means I only have $800 more to go. And then we'll be moving on, you know, completing our first goal. And that'll make me super happy. It will, however, the emergencies will be getting, like, money. But it won't be, like, $100. It'll be only, like, $20 or $10 a month, which will make me really happy. Debt, we never plan on getting debt. The only amount of debt that I feel like I would absolutely have is if I need to get a loan from the bank to put a down payment to a house. Then we'll have debt. And I do admire the girls on every um, budgeting video that I see that has debt, student loans, something like that. Um, good for you. You are paying it off. You are doing your job. Keep it up. You are doing fantastic, Okay. Every little bit counts, and I really notice that now. Me, I have a plan, so I don't plan on going to college. Um, I just plan on working a lot, having a full-time job, and saving all my savings until I move out to have a lot of money, you know? Birthdays, I will stuff regularly around $7 a month because I only do my birthday and my best friend's birthday who got me that cute notebook, um, which our birthdays are both in September. So yeah, that is um, what I'll be doing. Instead, because, you know, family is important, instead of getting them all their birthdays because that would be chaotic and I don't have a full-time job, I have a part-time job, I will be putting more money into my Christmas because I spend for my entire family, which is a really big family. I can't go into details, but I have a really big family and Christmases um, will be getting my goal for this December is to get $400 into Christmases. Right now we only have $100, so we have $300 more to go. We basically only have three months left, so that's crazy. Vacation, um, I do want to go on a vacation next in, next year in the fall. So I do plan on putting a thousand dollars into here, and then miscellaneous. I really only want three hundred dollars into miscellaneous, just in case if my emergency fund or anything like that goes off. And then, like I said, this last one is going to be a new category in 2021, 2022. Sorry, um, it's going to be called baby because I need to start saving up for a future child. 
and I think that's very, very important, you know? And if I get a boyfriend, then he'll probably be in the monthly one. But yeah, um, I would like to close out this video with some very positive um, notes. Everyone is where they're supposed to be. Everyone is doing what they need to. Everyone has their own journey. And if you would like to support mine, put a like to the video or subscribe or just keep watching my videos and I'll get the hang of it eventually and one day I'll have a lot of things and I'll have a lot of people commenting and if you have any concerns, any feedback or anything you would like to see or any category suggestions on what I think you think actually I should add to my binders, I will keep that open. If you know any good bar, like small businesses like boutiques or anything that has fake dollar bills for like 500 custom fake dollar bills or a thousand fake hundred dollar bills or anything cute for like um anything like really super cute um or you know their own envelopes or their own custom stuff please reach out to me on that i'm kind of looking to find something like that anything like that um i don't really know any like boutiques that have like what i'm looking for or particularly what i want i mean i saw a couple but like if you have any cute brands that you buy um stuff from you know where you buy that please please put it in the comment section i reach out to all my comments or at least try to um yeah that's pretty much all i have to say Thanks so much, guys, for watching my video to the end. You're a real supporter, even if you're not subscribed. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Mm -hmm.